And I got a little pop quiz for you. Playing some Joker highlights. I don't know who the Iron Sheik is. <laughs> how did that <laughs> How did that turn out? 50-50? Yeah, it looked like about 50-50. 50-50. Rest in peace to the Iron Sheik, passing away at the age of 81. Uh, Luca and Joker are boys. I have thrown out the theory down the road that they would eventually be teammates. And we see Jokic's greatness, two-time MVP. But they're boys. What's the top? We always do this after the Cowboys get eliminated in the playoffs and we look at the other teams. How should we copy them? What should we borrow? What would be the top two things you would want Luka to borrow from Joker and his game? Oh, man. That's a great, great question. Um, I got three options okay. if you need help thinking. Because, I mean, they both passed the ball really, really well. I also, I, I think, though, that I would like to see Luca bo borrow. I can't. I don't want to say sense of urgency within within the construct of, of, a, of an individual play, but I feel Luca passes the ball out of necessity sometimes. He gets his assist late in the shot clock, whereas I think Joker starts. You know, yeah, the ball movement. And That's it, his first thought, right? Now that may be you now Luca and Luca's first thought is get across the timeline, look for my shot. Where Joker's, I think, is. Uh, look to get the ball to me inside. Somebody get me the ball. But if I'm, if if, if help comes right away, I have no problem dishing. Okay. There, there's only one thing so that I kind of like of. team involvement. Yeah, I think being a better team offensive basketball player, which you know, and it's, it's hard to say Luke is not because he's great. Yep. But I just don't feel like he runs a great team offense. I think Kyrie runs a better half court teams oriented basketball. There, there's only one thing that I can think of one. that. Yeah. I mean, some of it's just there's limitate. Like, I mean, Jokic is bigger than Luca. That's obviously an advantage that Luca can't take advantage of. Yeah. Um, but the one that stands out to me that I see in Jokic's game that I feel like Luca could add is identifying and attacking the mismatches when he has them. Like Luca way too often. I feel like is content to just, Hey, I sew this out. I'm going to run this clock down and I'm going to get my step back three. Like, I feel like too often that's what it is. Whereas Jokic, if, if Jokic gets the ball in, in the post and he's got a size mismatch, it's okay, I'm going. Like, I feel like too often Luke is settling for stuff 25 feet from the rim when it's like, you could back this guy down. You could spin off him. He does it a lot, but too frequently he's passing on doing that. So just attacking his mismatches more frequently. Okay, I'm surprised you came up with a lack of uh, options there. I mean, Luka uh, is one of like the three best players in the NBA. He is, but uh, number one is conditioning. Uh, Joker lost a lot of weight. He was mm. pudgy. He was thick. We all see his, you know, his childhood photo, and now he's in supreme shape. To be able to take that weight and run as much as he does and as fast as he does, uh, Luka should borrow that. Like, okay, the Joker dropped at least 20 pounds, I can do the same thing and play a lot faster. I'm that, happy here. That's number one. That's good. Is that at the buffet or in the Metroplex? Uh, <laughs> that's that, <laughs> that, that's number one. And then I was torn between involvement, what you brought up, RJ, and referee complaining. Yeah. I mean, the, the referee complaining, I would love for him to stop. You know, like you could copy that from Jokic. He's a two-time MVP, and he complains like what? A fifth of what Luca does, um, because it is hard for me to criticize Luca passing. He still took a team of scrubs to the NBA playoffs multiple times and didn't just barely get in. Mm -hmm. So, Joker's improved conditioning is one, and I don't want to criticize him for style of play because he is a spectacular passer. Um, adjusting his type of play. Versus referees is, is is tough for me. So, I don't know. That was just a pop quiz that I was thinking of with Luca watching his boy uh, getting closer to an NBA championship. Con conditioning's fair. I mean, I, I think that we all have that now. Like, I mean, it took Jokic a little bit to get there. Like, I mean, Jokic did kind of whip himself into shape in the last year or two where it was he dropped that weight. So, um, so what's your point? No, but what I'm saying is that he is... What, he's been in the league four years longer than Luca. So, I mean, if we're talking about in terms of just the natural projection, Dirk had talked about it took him till, what was it? He said 26, I think, before he started to take conditioning seriously. I'm not saying it's an excuse for anything. I'm just saying it does follow the trek of guys who yeah. that's how long it took them to. I don't think it's like something where it's like 
Jokic has done it around the same time you did. It did take Jokic a little bit to get there, just like we're trying to get there with. Luke, there is, is a uh, there there is a like a, a sense that everybody has where you know you can you can roll out of bed and do what you want to do at 22 years old. Especially him, since he was 15 years old and he's been beating adults in Europe. Like I feel like this is we've been talking about this for three years now. I know uh, I, it's an excuse. You're making an excuse for him. Dirk maybe had to figure out like the little small things of changing you know bringing a, a covered foiled plate to the arena or cutting out alcohol but we, we never thought he was out of shape uh you know when you come into the league out of college zion i don't give zion a break you you, you should give zion the same pass I, then I, i'm not i'm not giving a pass what I, all i'm saying is, is that i don't know that Jokic is the one that i would hold up as a model of like look how he has just done this the right way for his entire career. That's a relatively new thing that clicked for him is all yeah. I'm saying. And That's Jokic all. was lazy, uh, lazy in the beginning of his career uh, and, and should have been in better shape. Then he did two MVPs and about to have a title. And and team involvement, I think, Luca. I mean, Luca's been really good at that. There, Luca had three consecutive seasons of 12 assists per 100 possessions. This was the first year where... Jokic outperformed him in that front. Jokic was Jokic consistently throughout his career was like 10, 11 assists per 100 possessions. This year was like 14 and a half. He went way above. But I, I think that Luca does get the team involved. There's also a limit to how much can you get yeah. these scrubs involved. Yeah. And how much do you want them actually taking shots? I agree. And then yeah, complaining. Complaining's a thing, but I just I guess I view that more as a personality trait than a game trait.